Is your feline friend leaving an unexpected surprise on your bed? In today's discussion, we're uncovering five reasons your cat is peeing on the bed. This behavior can be perplexing for cat owners, but understanding the underlying causes is essential for resolving the issue. Join us as we explore potential reasons, from medical issues to stress, that may be prompting your cat's behavior. Whether you're dealing with this problem or simply seeking to be a more informed cat owner, stay tuned for valuable insights into deciphering and addressing this common feline challenge. Today, we will talk about five reasons your cat is peeing on the bed. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. The litter box isn't in a good location. Think about how you do your own bathroom business. You have a door you can shut. You've probably got the room decorated with knickknacks. Doesn't your cat deserve some privacy and pleasantry too? Perhaps your litter box is in a busy area, or it's next to a noisy appliance like a clothes dryer, or one that turns on at random times like a furnace, says Paula Garber, a certified feline training and behavior specialist based out of Briarcliff Manor, New York, and who runs Lifeline Cat Behavior Solutions. Or maybe the cat box was in an ideal spot, but as the years have gone on, it's not so convenient anymore. Maybe the litter box is in the basement, but the cat spends most of his time on the second floor of the house. Cats can see well in low lighting, but they do need some light to see. If the litter box is in a dark place with no light, a cat might be less inclined to use it, especially in a multi-cat household, Garber says. You need more cat litter boxes. Even if you have a couple of litter boxes, it still may not be enough. Some cats prefer to urinate and defecate in separate litter boxes, and some cats will not share a litter box with another cat, Garber says. A good general rule is to have a litter box for each cat in the home, plus one more, and to provide at least one litter box on every level of the home. Probably not what you want to hear, yay, more cat litter to clean. But that's better that than constantly cleaning your bed sheets, right? Multiple litter boxes is especially a good idea for kittens, Garber adds. Like children, kittens' control over their elimination is not fully developed, so they need multiple easily accessible litter boxes to help prevent accidents, she says, adding that you should never scold or punish a kitten or cat, especially when she's in or near her litter box. This will create a negative association with the box and she will avoid it. For the same reason, never use the litter box as a place to trap a cat to administer medication, trim nails, or get her into a carrier. Your cat doesn't like the type of litter box you have. Time to give the feline facilities another look. Maybe it's got a cover that traps odors or constricts her movement so she can't get into a comfortable position to eliminate without pressing part of her body against the inside of the cover, something many cats dislike, Garber says. Or it could be a medical issue combined with an ill-fitted cat litter box. Garber says that if your cat has arthritis, perhaps the box's sides are too high making it difficult to get in and out of. Your cat doesn't like the cat litter. You're probably a fan of one type or brand of cat litter and turn up your nose at other brands. Some cats are the same way, particularly if your little guy thinks the litter isn't soft enough, Garber says. If the cat has been declawed, stepping into and digging in cat litter might be painful, so she will seek out a softer substrate. Just make sure the cat litter is truly absorbent. Garber says that the practice of a cat burying his or her urine or feces is because they're hardwired to hide the scent so that a predator can't track them. This instinct is very strong, as the cat's survival depends on it, Garber says. There's been a major change in the household. Do you have a new baby? Maybe a new dog or a new cat? Maybe you have a new job that's keeping you away from the house far more than normal or for different hours than your cat has been accustomed to. Cats thrive in an environment that is predictable and controllable, Garber says. Changes in a cat's household, even those that seem minor and insignificant to us, can trigger house soiling behavior. Your cat needs to feel safe. Ultimately, your cat needs to feel safe. The good news is that that's a problem you can fix, Dr. Etroff says. The psychological stress of competing for resources like food, water, empty litter boxes, and the cat owner's attention is something we can easily modify by making sure that there are ample resources 
like food and water bowls, toys. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and click to subscribe button.